Hello guys. As you can see, there are two wonderful chairs today. That is to say, I have a beautiful guest with me on the show for this session. I want to introduce my guest right now with drum rolls. Pop, pop, pop. Can you come in and dance to the show? So welcome to my channel. My guest would love to meet you. Can you introduce yourself to that? Yeah. My name is Olalade Abolabi. Um, I need a professional, passionate about women and girls generally and all the individuals. Um, I want to talk about um, women. You know, women, we go through a lot actually. Yeah, we do. I think we should get a pack every month. Say, see out on the road, all girls, please. Uh, not only all girls. And spray something or what well, something? I'm still looking this way. Spray dollar in our hand. Spray dollar in our hand. I don't want to do one dollar. One dollar is like five hundred. Five hundred is something though. It's something. She wants one dollar. See this life. I choose my choice. I want like you know, let's start from fifty dollars. I'm only fifty dollars. It's too much. Okay. Something I really try. We, we go through a lot actually, but um, we've been taught to be strong. And that's has silenced our true emotions, which is wrong. You exposing or you um, expressing yourself is not a show of weakness at all. What people say, Rani, don't say it. Let me say that in English. That is to say, a female should endure and just keep it or tone it down. These are the things women face. They face it, um, you, in fact, I even like that in our salon. They are not allowed to cry during the day. You are kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so what do they do? It's out there. <clears throat> they okay, came I'm in. Serious. They say do not hold them. Sorry, you are the now. So you they, they, they've been built that oh, the if you cry, you are a weak woman or something. Fortunately, all those so. stories, which is wrong. Mm -hmm. And apart from labor, every woman uh, in the age of within the age of poverty. Um, go through something every month. We call it period, that's menstruation and ovulation. These two things sound like just two words, mm -hmm. but they're like two words. Yeah, right? <laughs> menstruation and ovulation in a month. Now, it's not as if you get it like three, three months, it's not like trimester. It's every back, month. Back, 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 Sorry, back. it's never up to a month. Yeah, 26 days. 26, 24, 25. Ah. My circle sometimes is actually 25. 25, 26. That means within 25. I remember the last time I was already feeling. I was like, oh, God, what am I feeling down? Let's I just check my phone. I'm like, oh. Ah, yes. When did I the last one? <laughs> right. But yeah, we have to go through it wow. every month. So today we are going to throw more light on what. It is that's menstruation, population, and what we call PMS. So our guest here is going to tell us all this. And it's going to be an interactive section, but you know, I'll be asking her more questions. She's experienced. That's the area of um, focus. I don't understand. So Seven women, girls, you know. They like money. My real focus is money. Sure. So welcome once again on the live. Thank you for coming. Thank you for honoring our invitation. So today I would want us to discuss about menstruation. What exactly is menstruation? <laughs> what is this that you mentioned about? Uh -huh. I'm menstruating, oh, my stomach is spreading me, oh. I have what is it? What is menstruation? Is this such a big deal? Okay. For some, it might not be a big deal. Menstruation is that because we that we need this experience. Monthly, I like Fred earlier mentioned. Maybe every 25 days, 26 days, 27, 28, up to 30 days, as the case may be. Mm. But it's a biological thing about women, and we release that egg as we release the egg. That's what she called ovulation. So at some point in the month, you will ovulate, you release that part of the that you meant to, that reproductive part of the woman. But because there is no Intercourse, there is no sexual intercourse, there is a break and the blood will be every month. So that's why we see the 
description. And I think for in a layman's knowledge, you just have to keep blood flow like this for up to three to five days. And Thank you so much, Ade, uh, for um, throwing light to what menstruation is really. Um, I believe some men, guys, will be watching this, so she learn one or two things too. But you need to take any supplements while on your period, drops on it, because it seems like a lot of blood actually. So for, for supplements, I would advise that you talk to your doctor. I don't like to take medication when I'm on because it alters your flow. Mm -hmm. So you need to be sure that it's actually um, how we scribe. Thank you for mentioning that. So I, I learned some people actually take um, some pain relief. Mm, yeah. That's What's your view about that? Is it, is it yeah. advisable to use pain relief? Of course it is. You, you can use um, pain reliever when you're feeling so much pain. I mean, you have to suffer every month. Like Does that. it affect blood flow as you mentioned? Does pain relief affect um, So it depends on your body. Okay. For me, it alters my cycle. So, like maybe shorter so it makes it irregular like maybe i've been consistent 28 days so when i take an adiosic or something the next time i come 25 days 26 days so you need to understand your body and know what works for you mm. women well done no <laughs> We need to actually be organized ourselves when we tell ourselves about something. Like, <laughs> I see you, sis. <laughs> Stay strong, sis. I, I think sometimes on Facebook I, I saw something about women um, congratulating fellow women. Now, well done for the past 12 months. <laughs> if right. you've not finished for the year, God will see you. God will see you for those that are done for the year. Exactly. Right? <laughs> and if you are not done, God will see you through. But if you are done, lot. well done because it's a lot. I didn't lose so much blood. So um, recently when I put to bed, well then I understood why it thinks women actually need more blood compared to men. So I had to do my blood count at a point, and I think it was a bit low. So um, the doctor was now mentioning how a man really needs blood tonic because of course they don't menstruate. Sure. So is it advisable um, for a woman, or let me say personally what I do is, I actually feel very weak after my menstruation. So what I do is I take blood on me for like two days and take a lot of fluid as you mentioned earlier. So I take blood on me just to because ah lots of blood. You yeah, know. Right. Send money to that woman in your life, <laughs> dear man. <laughs>